Hi everyone, I'm Marianne. I'm a voice coach and visual artist from Singapore, currently in Singapore, and welcome to another installment of my weekly vlog series, Find Your Voice. So this is where I share what I'm learning in my journey so far as an everyday singer, as a voice coach, as a singing instructor, as someone who is all about expressing myself authentically and 100% true to who I am. And ultimately, I believe also that this whole journey is about finding your capital V voice, which is whatever it is that you are passionate about, what you are creating as a worthy and meaningful purpose for yourself, your dreams, the things that really matter to you, what you really want to go after. And ultimately, when we look back over the course of our lives, we would see what is this masterpiece all along that we have been trying to create. What is that underlying thing that we have always been wanting to express and wanting to share with the world around us. And it's not something that is very clear cut. It's something that it's a whole process and a whole journey for us to figure out. But by working on our physical voice and physical expression and correcting some of the issues there and also expanding our ability to express ourselves, we can also get closer to getting more connected with what that capital V voice is for us, what truly resonates with us and what is it that we long to express to the world around us. So if you have questions about this, feel free to ask them in the comments or you can also directly message me through any one of my links which you see in the write-ups attached to these videos. So this week I've been thinking a lot about mastery and about going on a certain path because I happen to be rereading Robert Greene's book Mastery for the second time. And so it's got me thinking about, you know, what is this path that I'm on and or what have I chosen to be my path and how to ensure that everything that I do forwards me on this path towards mastery. So I started thinking about this in the context of working on our voice and expression and why do people want to improve their voice and expression? Like what, is, what are they really working towards? What are they really going after? So this is one of the things that, you know, from the very first session together with me as a voice coach, um, I would ask you what exactly are you hoping to gain? What are you working towards? What are you, why do you want to do voice lessons in the first place? And it's not enough to just say I want to improve my voice because that is kind of like an ongoing thing, um, you know, that we want to improve our voice, but it's not really the end goal that we're striving for. And that end goal is something that is much bigger and it's, um, it's usually something that would define what is this whole journey about for you. So like if I were to say, you know, I want to improve my voice so that I can be an inspiring speaker, for instance, and I can speak to, you know, that tens of thousands of people and not be nervous and still be able to express my message and get it across and excite the audience or inspire the audience and inspire them to want to take action on something that matters to them. Now that becomes a really specific outcome that you would like to see and that shapes the path that we're on. So every single one of us, we live our lives, we go through the motions of living most of the time. And it's not true that we are on a path because sometimes you can just be meandering around thinking that you're on a path, but, um, but you're not, <laughs> okay? And um, you know, the idea of that, you know, if something is meant for you, it will come your way. This is totally, um, you know, I wouldn't say it's utter nonsense, but things don't work that way. Like if there's something that you really want, you have to make a plan for yourself to get there. You have to char chart some sort of course for you to get there. You have to form a strategy in order to ensure that you follow the plan that you have and make sure that you get there. A path is not something that we just happen to be on, although sometimes that could get us realizing that we're on a path in the first place or that we have chosen a certain path. But it is overall something that we choose intentionally to walk on and we choose to make the best of it and we choose what is it that we're going to do that forwards us in that path or you know are you going to take on things that actually stop you or distract you from that path and most of the time for most people we often get distracted from the path that we have chosen to walk if let's say you have chosen a path so in the realm of working on our voice and expression, knowing very clearly what's the outcome that you want is the first step in figuring out what is this path that you're going to walk on. Are you going to walk the path of becoming a professional singer? Um, and you know, even as a professional singer, there's many different types as well. Like, are you going to be like, you know, a commercial singer? Are you going to be like a pop singer? Are you going to be a superstar? Are you going to be a musical theater singer? Like, you know, there's so many different paths even within that path of singer. Um, and if you talk about, you know, being a speaker, again, there are so many different kinds of speakers out there and there are so many different purposes for the different kinds of speakers out there. 
or you know if you want to be a great teacher um, that's you know that itself also has many different paths so so being very clear exactly which path you want to walk is the very first step and then after that um, aside from you know consistently practicing your voice exercises every day and you know having consistent lessons with your voice coach um, which I shared about in previous blogs I think one really important thing as well is creating opportunities for yourself to be able to walk your path and to be able to forward your path so part of it is identifying what is it that does not serve your path and you know as far as possible let that go or reduce those things because if they're not taking you closer to it then you know the time and energy that you put into those things anyway um, they kind of go to waste because it doesn't actually lead you and, and you know get you towards where you want to go so for example if the path that you want to be on is to be like a broadway musical singer and your ultimate dream is to perform in a hit musical on broadway itself in new york city then you know being on that path means that First of all, you know, when it comes to your voice and singing, you have to be able to sing songs from different musicals uh, because, you know, the repertoire from musicals, there's a certain singing style that comes with that. And so you have to be very familiar with that. And then, you know, in terms of creating opportunity for yourself, um, not just, you know, going for all the auditions that you can related to acting and related especially to musicals and stage performances. Um, it's also about creating opportunities to showcase yourself because even if there isn't like an audition for a musical coming up or maybe you went to audition for something and you didn't get the part, you know, there are still many different ways that we can showcase ourselves and put ourselves out there to get us closer to the path that we want. So even as singers, for instance, you know, you could always start like a YouTube channel and, you know, show yourself on YouTube. Um, there's many different like singing apps now that you can use as well and, you know, connect with other singers online or something and collaborate with them and do some projects with them. Like, you know, the, the, the opportunities that we can create for ourselves are actually limitless. But the thing is that, you know, if we don't take action to create something for ourselves in that direction that we want to go, then we kind of almost leave things up to fate and to chance and we're no longer intentionally pushing ourselves on that path that we want to walk. So in the same way, if the path that you've chosen is to be like, you know, a motivational speaker, then other than, you know, booking gigs and booking speaking engagements, which there may or may not be a lot of them. I mean, I really don't know because I haven't actually looked that up. Um, but it's also like, you know, from where you are right now, how can you create your own opportunities to speak to, of something that inspires people? How can you create your own platform to start giving some speeches or start practicing giving speeches to an actual audience? And that is how, you know, you train yourself to be able to get to that point that you want to. Um, so what I'm sharing today is that other than just doing the voice exercises, it's also about finding opportunities and creating opportunities for yourself to start taking concrete action that directly forwards you towards the reason why you're taking on these voice coaching lessons or singing lessons in the first place. And if let's say, you know, you just want to improve your voice because, you know, it serves your career or something like maybe you're a lawyer or, you know, you're in a profession that uses your voice a lot, even though you may not necessarily like be on stage and, you know, performing in that way. Um, it's also about, you know, being very clear as to what exactly you hope to aspire to in that profession and how does your working on your voice would actually take you there. So this one is a bit more complex because it's not as clear cut, but in the same way, you know, it's also about finding opportunities that allow you to work on your expression and on your voice and your presentation and communication in the day-to-day -day settings of your career such that you continue on that path and eventually get yourself to also where you would like to get to. So if you have enjoyed today's video, subscribe to my channel on YouTube and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or you can also directly message me through any one of my social media links which are in the write-ups attached to these videos and I will see you next week.